suck my dick. I need money. This is, this is BM Talk with Mark and Bob. Oh, yeah. Let us pray. Our Father, who broadcasts in New York, Howard be thy name. The King of all media. Baba Booey be done on earth and across the airwaves. Give us a hey now and Robin's news. And forgive us for our bad phone connection and boring calls as we just want to be part of the show. And lead us into the future and deliver us from the FCC. For Howard is the king with the power and the ratings now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Podcasts are bullshit. Hey now, Shalom, Shalom. Yes, that's that's uh, Jewish. That's Hebrew. Shalom, bitch. Hey now, Shalom. Hey now, Shalom. Hey, <laughs> Shalom. <laughs> Want to see how long we can go back and forth? No, because we're gonna make fucking Patrick Little's head blow off if uh, I keep saying Shalom. Good, keep it. Maybe I'll say Shalom. Shalom now. Shalom. <laughs> That's what we got on tap for today. Yes. Yesterday we touched on uh, Patrick Little, or Little Hitler, as I like to call him. Yes. Because I found another YouTube video of Mr. Little Hitler spewing some more of his Jew hatred and his Hitlerisms of... It's just insane that somebody like this is in... uh, His Hitlerisms. But wait, we got a comment. That's why. Oh, this yes, we looked really into more. started this. We got a comment on the YouTube. We got a comment on the YouTube. Was that another one? Yeah, it's just the person that said that they're printing the money, so they're fine. No, I thought that we, I saw a third one up there. No, that was the other one. Three comments. I only know about two. There's only two. Oh, is there a reply? Oh, reply. View reply, yeah. Wow. Uh, so Efren Newman, who yes. I'm sure is a fake name. I'm sure it's Tony Little or Patrick Little. Says, anyone watching this ought to listen to what Patrick Little has to say about Jewish supremacism and how much it damages America and the world. Don't listen to the usual smears. And then there's Patrick Little replying to himself. From said, Newman, well, well said. said. What is the name on that? Uh, Western Unity? Yeah. Or something like that? Something retarded? Right. Oh, what what is this? And then there's another comment that said that as long as we get to print the money, don't look into Christopher Bo- Bo- Bolin. Go back to sleep. What a bunch of Z's. I have no idea what that I is. I don't even know <laughs> either. But we found something on Little Hitler, more on Little Hitler. Mark brought it up last night. Yeah, he doesn't... In it, well, he lost the... I don't know if we just divulged that information yesterday. Yes, he lost the... He lost, he lost the, the Senate election. election. Yes. So yeah. now, of Little Hitler has big plans to <laughs> run for president in 2020. <laughs> he th- and he thinks he's going to do it on a third-party line. Right. Because yeah. they always win. Because they win all the time. And yeah. uh, so this is an interview, Big Cat Kayla... What, oh, Big Cat Kayla live streams. I don't even know why I'm giving her a plug. But uh, now, she, like all these other racists and bigots and people who uh, spewed out hatred, when she talks to Patrick Little, she is not on camera. You can find this video on YouTube that we're about to play. All you have to do is type in Patrick Little. Yeah, it's the first one that comes up. Now, when she speaks, the the... The uh, the screen goes black. There's a little circle in the middle with, what is that, like a tiger or a puma or something? Yeah. In half of the circle and then a K in the other half because, you know, she's Big Cat Kayla. 
but you can't show her face on camera. I hate this Jew hating bastard. I hate all the. Actually, I don't hate them. I just I think they're stupid. I feel bad for them. Actually, I'm praying for him. <laughs> I'm gonna say a prayer for you, Patrick Little. Do you want to do that now? Yes. <laughs> Go ahead. Our Father, who broadcasts in heaven. <laughs> Howard be thy name. Please strike down upon the... <laughs> Please strike down upon the Jew-hating Patrick Little. Yes. Oh, you got to... Oh. Right. There's Hello? a lot of BS in the beginning of sitting down. Oh, there is? Yeah, they don't have a profession. They they're not as professional as we are. At okay. Zionist control of our government. Oh. Next campaign, I'm going to be running... You uh, just went live, so good thing you came on because uh, I would have been just actually talking to the chat, but not talking to the chat the whole time. Her oh, chat, boy. yeah, <laughs> she's stupid. For, uh, good thing you came on, otherwise I wouldn't I know what to do. I know. <laughs> of course, of course. How are you doing tonight, Pat? Good. Uh, I'm getting uh, now. Some if donations. you look at Pat. Patrick Little. Do we have a picture of him up on the site or anything? We no, should. No, we're we're gonna have to put a picture. We should, and then we're gonna vandalize it. He's got he's got the Hitler Youth haircut. Yes, yes. Now for my next campaign, I'm going to be running for the presidency and trying to pressure Donald Trump into talking about the Jewish question. And uh, if I not a, I'm going to decide which party I'll be running. But my goal is to. Make it so he either addresses Jewish supremacism and Zionist control of our government, or he, uh, or I cost him the presidential race in 2020. Wow. The the only thing that's going to cost anybody the presidential race in 2020 is this fucking guy. Yeah, he ain't going this, anywhere. This fucking guy is going nowhere. He's not going anywhere further than YouTube. Right. Videos. Right. That's all that's happening to him. That'll be, um, I mean, I, I know you, you had just mentioned it briefly, you know, in passing earlier today that you were, and I know that you were even hinting at it before that you'd be running in 2020. In yep. passing. But uh, I, I think that uh, that's going to be definitely bring an interesting dynamic to things because we do know that uh, that Trump is a, how do I put this nicely? Um, he's a Zio shill. Uh, he's a. Whether he's willing What's a Zio shill? I it, have absolutely it, no idea. What a Zio shill is. What are these people talking about? Like, are we really going to go through this whole thirty-three no, minutes? We are not. We, <laughs> we are not going through this thirty-three minutes because I didn't even listen. To, I just kind of I lit a little okay. bit and I fit. And okay, just, well that's all. That's all we needed to hear. Then. I, I that must is have all hit, we needed to hear. But the, the uh, like I said, the bullshit that comes out of this guy's mouth. And I don't that, understand how. And that is clearly him commenting on YouTube under an assumed name. It's like, got to that, that There or is no way. There's that, a lot of... If you read the comments under this interview, there's a lot of people that support him for some reason. There are. Okay. You know? And they're like, yeah, go get them Jew. And I'm like... Whoa. Little 2020. Wow. Like, how... how I, don't, I don't get it. Yeah, little 2020. Wow. He's not even going to be on the ballot. N- right. Right. That's how crazy. Like, honestly, you start coming. You, you start talk. If you're in politics and you start talking like Hitler, do you really think anybody wants to go through that again? Let alone this country. Wow! And then this is funny. The, this comment on here: talk about doubling down. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. I, I blame this all on. Not not no no. I don't blame it all on Trump. I blame it on the morons that voted Trump in. Wait, now look at this moron. Don Don Hammerson or something. The vote count was fraudulent, Patrick. I hope you're going to contest. Yeah. He didn't even get one he didn't even get two percent no, of the got, votes. Yeah. Didn't even he, get one and a half percent of the votes. He got one point two percent or something. Yeah. But that's fraudulent. Yeah, that's that's very fraudulent. Because your buddy. racist ass isn't gonna be in Right. Right. In politics anywhere. Right. It's it's a, it's a crazy world. Jesus. All because Trump got voted and all these morons like this think that they can get in now. 
and just by spewing their hatred. Can we uh, can we just find all these people on YouTube, put them in a chamber, and gas them? Yeah, because according to them, the chamber don't exist. That doesn't the exist. Never right. The Holocaust never happened. Just apparently. six billion Jews just dropped dead. That yeah. just must have been what happened. Yeah, right. And the people have tattoos that survived. <laughs> yeah, yeah. With numbers. That's and, what they did. Yeah. And that's it. they just went to the tattoo parlor, and they just like, huh? I want numbers on me. Yeah, give me a number. Let me get a number. Let me get a number. Yeah. Because that... Uh, well, well, how many numbers... I don't know. Just throw a bunch of numbers on it. Well, let's see. How many Jews just dropped dead? Yeah, put that number on Yeah. It today. Yeah, yeah. And tomorrow... So, um, how many Jews dropped dead? Yeah, do that. Because it yeah. wasn't because of anything, but, you know... Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Right. Well, stupidity. Wow. And then this idiot, J.S., you guys are great together. Excellent chemistry. Patrick Little for president. Wow. Wow. These fucking people are nuts. That's And that's the most disturbing part, is these wackos have followers. They do. And they have support in, in doing what they're doing. They do. Look, you, want to idiot, eradicate, you have my vote. You want to eradicate racism and stuff from this country? Take these people and the people that take this guy and his supporters and shoot them into the sun. Right. Right. <coughs> And we could take people affected by Mandela and shoot them into the sun. Yeah, yeah, they can go with them. Right. Right. There's a, the, I, I just can't. <laughs> I, I have no words for how stupid Patrick Little is. I don't either. It's the, the words just don't even come to me. It's almost shocking that this a- exists. Absolute madman. <clears throat> it, right? Yeah. Unbelievable. You should put a post or a, a comment up there. Make a, a profile, Satan, and then write, see you soon. <laughs> That's hysterical. Don't bother running. We'll see you soon. We'll see you in hell very soon. Who sent that? Satan. Yeah. And I'll be sticking a pineapple up your ass. <laughs> You remember the little Nicky? No, you're not no. an Adam Sandler fan. They used to stick a pineapple up Hitler's ass every hour. Oh, nice. A whole pineapple. Like, hey, Patrick, remember those gas chambers you said don't exist? Yeah. Well, we have them here in hell, and they exist. Yeah, you're going to get and, gas. And you're going into one. Every hour. <laughs> every hour you get to die. And the, way- and the hour that you don't go, you're going to go every other hour. And the hour that you don't go, you're going to go take a Jewish shower. A Jewish Nazi shower. Yes. Yes. And then we're going to put a pineapple up your ass. Yes. <laughs> then we're going to take your corpse and use it as a piñata. Yes. And see what kind of hatred comes out of you. With wiffle ball bats so you don't bust open right away. <laughs> right. Right. You'll have to get real bloody. Wiffle ball bats with nails pounded through them. Right. Right. Rusty nails. Jewish nails. Jewish nails. <laughs> You're going to have to get the nails that Christ had through his hands. Yes. Because he was the king of the Jews. Well, he's going to get you. Right. Yeah. You definitely can't be Catholic or anything like that. No, you can't I, believe in there, what is that? Catholicism. Uh, oh, are there like Jew denouncers uh, that are Catholics and like there's another part of like the Catholic religion? No, it's it's one of those weird Christian denominations where <sighs> You know they they it's it almost borderlines, um, ah, shit I can't remember. But it's the one they believe like the woman's place is at the home, and they should you know cook the meals and, oh, and take okay. care of the babies. Uh, and all. It's it's one of those weird southern denominations of Christianity. Okay. <clears throat> oh my god. You know, uh, yeah, woman shouldn't speak unless they're spoken to. This fucking guy. Is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's. But what he's what he's talking about is, like I said, when he talks, I hear even this not in the root in the dearest Mary, this hell, and that's all that's yeah, right. I hear when he talks. Right, that's all you hear. And I'm you like, hear the chef on the freaking <laughs> the Muppets. You're right, shitty birdie, here birdie. <laughs> The, 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 the clips they play of Hitler when he was in front of the crowd just talking to him. Right, right. That's what I hear. Oh, and the world's going to... They're not going to... Nobody is... It, nobody. Uh, this fucking guy. <laughs> if you if you run, okay, first of all, let's tell you, 
it's not easy to run as a third party candidate, buddy. Okay, it's not that easy. You're not going to show up in all the states, you fucking moron. Did we uh, even see why he got kicked out of that GOP convention? No, no. Do you want to? Do you want to see why? Because uh, he's obviously not going to run as a Democrat. He's he can't run as a Republican. No, and, him out. and like I said, do you know how hard it is to uh, to to run oh, on a third look, line? He lost to a Jew. Yes, Feinstein and Little. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's why he's mad. Yeah, he's really mad because uh, the Jews came out on top over <laughs> you, you fucking moron. Right. Yeah. Let's see. Patrick Little. Good speaks. morning, California. Patrick Little here. I'm your leading Republican candidate. The latest poll. I've got more than twice the support, according to Survey USA, than any of those candidates in there. They just had me expelled from the building because I won't serve Israel. I want to serve my country. I want to serve the United States. I want to serve Californians. I will not bow to a born, uh, foreign flag. Wow. I will not wait, serve wait, a foreign government. Wait. He is standing on a flag for, of uh, I Israel. believe it's the Israel flag. Yeah, it's the Israeli flag. This fucking he's guy. He's standing on it. It's on the sidewalk, and he's standing yes. at it in this video. Yes. The Republican Party. GOP of California is nothing but Zionist stooges. They do the bidding of a foreign power that has committed terrorist attacks against this country. The USS Liberty in 1967, over 200 casualties. You know they what? machine gun the life rafts. I bet he's they use, gay. They use napalm. That would be great. Absolutely. Being I on wish net. Patrick they Little. Bombs Patrick the Little. Targets, I bet uh, morale, you're gay. Uh, and readiness facilities in Egypt in the 1950s. They were trying to blow up. And that would be against everything you stand for. And their families in Egypt. Blame it on the Arabs. Israeli citizens committed these terrorist acts. It is by a stroke of luck that we detected the bombs before they went off and hurt any U.S. Yo, citizens. that's what it was. This fucking example. guy thinks that they committed 9-11. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No. Yeah. We, we caught the guy who committed 9-11 because he admitted to doing it, took the credit. We found him long after we should have. Right. And killed him. And killed him. He's dead. What is he talk? He's... Uh, this fucking guy. Oh. Like a conspiracy theorist, but blaming the Jews for everything. Right, and look at how disheveled he is. He doesn't even know how to put on a tie. Like, it's crooked and shit. He's... Ugh. I want to find out. I want to find as many things that are wrong with I this guy as possible. Israeli people see this, and they come and assassinate him. How do you stay? How do you stand on another country's flag? Right, right. But how many people burn the American flag? So, okay, well, whatever. We're you know. supposed to be better than that, though. Right. You know what I mean? Like they. Yeah. They, well, this guy clearly isn't. No, no. He's uh, he's the guy. Instead of like turning the other cheek, or I'm going to be a bigger person and not argue with you. He's like, no, I'm going to stand and spit on your flag, and blame you for the world's problems. Right. Right. Patrick Little, you should call the pipeline, you little fucking asshole. 315-293-2999. And leave, leave a message and give us a reason why we shouldn't think that you're a fucking asshole moron. Right. Give us a reason. Call the number. It's right down there. I don't think there is a reason. <laughs> no, there's no reason. Assuming you're smart enough to dial a phone. Right. Right. Or... I guess you don't dial phones anymore. That just dated me. Yeah, he. Do, you do dial phones. You still press buttons on the Yeah, but the you phone. don't dial like a... No, that's like a rotary phone. Yeah, yeah. God. Or, you know, get someone in your stable of lunatics to call the number, leave us a message, maybe even leave a callback number. Yeah. And we'll have you on here and we can talk to you about your stupidity. Yes. Maybe we can educate you a little bit. Because you're damn sure not going to educate us. Yeah, and you're damn sure not going to. And if you run on a third party line, you're 
you're not going to get even close. I don't even think he's going to get a third. I don't think he's going to get on a six-party line. No, he'll make up his own fucking... He'll end up making up his own thing. He's an idiot. He'll be like the Jew haters or something. Yeah, he's going to end up falling into obscurity. Yes. And then in a few years, he'll be bagging groceries at a Walmart. Right. Somewhere. And then the Walmart's going to find out that he was <laughs> running for whatever, and they're going to say, uh, you have all this racist stuff on the internet? No, the Walmart's run by Jews, so they're going to make him clean the toilets and be like, here, you hate us so much? Here. Yep, clean. Do this, do that. And he's going to say no, because he doesn't bow down to anybody. Yep. And he's not going to have a job, and his wife's going to be banging a Jew, uh, the, a Jewish pool boy. Nice. Let the wife and then bang, his, his whole bang family's gonna boy. gonna leave him, and they're gonna fall apart because he's a retard. Yeah, this fucking. Guy. I bet you some Jew, like, some uncircumcised Jew, is putting it to your wife. Oh, I know. And then you're tasting his uncircumcised yeah. dick. Yep. And then you're going there, and yep. Yep. How's I, that? How's that uncircumcised Jewish dick taste? <laughs> Although you probably like it, you fucking little prick. Yeah, little closet homo, and that's nothing against gay people. Actually, if he how were does gay, someone like that get even get into politics? Well, I don't know. Is he considered in, in politics? If yeah. he hasn't won anything, no, he's, he's in just, politics. Is, if he didn't run or if he didn't win, yeah, you're in politics. Yeah, but what does he do? Uh, well, you know he, what I mean. Like, like I can be a he's career a politician bastard. who just runs and loses everything. Yeah, I guess so. You'd be like the Susan Lucci of politics. So he's just living off of donation money. Yes. Yes. This fucking asshole. He thinks that he thinks the wall could just be built. The Donald <laughs> Trump's wall could be built. Just press a button. Yep. Oof, there yep. it is. It happens. That's that's how it works. That's how the government works. Uh, <laughs> this uh, there. I really we'll take don't donations even from our supporters to build a wall. Yeah. Yeah. No. Right. <laughs> Right. That's not how that's not how it works. You'd never have enough money. They've already said that the wall would cost like twenty five trillion dollars. Right. It's not gonna to happen. Make, yeah. Not gonna happen, uh freaking patty little. We don't need a wall. No, we don't. We just kinda need better politicians. Politicians, <laughs> I don't know, better security at the borders then. If if that many people are sneaking in. And actually they're not. And, and getting they found out benefits. it's not they <clears throat> they've done studies and it's not from Mexico. They don't get they don't really get they don't even get social security. Like they don't they're illegal. You can't get social security unless you have a social security number. So you just that, catch them and send them that, back. Yeah. Catch and release. Catch and release. That's it. Right, like a fish. Wow. That, well, I don't know. Does, does it affect benefits or welfare if you go down and you're like, yeah, well, I got four or five people living with me? Because I think if they're elderly, they, you know what I mean? Like, they assume that they're retired or something. I don't know how that all works. Yeah, I don't know how that works. And I think that's, but again, <laughs> if it's not really that big of an epidemic and it's just people bitching, then we just, just catch and release or, you know. Uh, instead of, I don't know, instead of building some, uh, find a way to fit it into the budget and hire more border patrol. Yes, we need to take, we need to like take Patrick Little, catch him, and don't release him. Put him in like a volcano. <laughs> Send him to Hawaii. Yes. Plug up the volcano. With yes. Him. Plug the volcano up with this fucking guy's hatred for yeah, everything. Yeah. And I know you might be like, oh, well, they're talking shit about him, so they have just as much hatred. Blah, no, blah, I blah. said, I don't hate him. I, 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 I just think he's stupid, and I feel yeah. bad for him. But you know what? We have, a, we have a problem in Hawaii right now with a volcano. Right. And he doesn't seem to be... Con uh, um, <laughs> I can't fucking talk today. I'm awake more than I was yesterday, but I just can't seem to get the words together. He's not contributing anything really to society, him or his his Hitler. supporters. Him so or why his don't Hitler we? Haircut. You, you want to help out the country? You want to help out? You want to help out people? Why don't we just plug up the fucking volcano with you and your supporters, and it'll save some lives, and I, then you'll go down as a hero. I guess so. I can't even watch any more of them. <laughs> I can't. Because he just, he just fucking makes my blood boil. I've had this enough. fucking guy. He looks like Hitler. Yeah, sans the mustache. Yes. 
All he needs is a mustache. He's an American Hitler. He is. But that comment, that comment is what made us uh, do today. Yeah. You want to leave hating comments? We're going to end up doing doing a show. Oh yeah, no. I welcome all comments. <laughs> yes. But yeah, we're we're going to respond to them. Right. That's the point of of this back and forth thing. Yes. But yeah. Oh, I was waiting to see how long we we're going to be silent for. <laughs> that would have been funny. No. no, I wouldn't have let it be silent for too long. I would I would have had something like uh, Mel Gibson. It's really low, but I got it up. That was my fault because I have this. I have the master volume on it down. Oh no, uh, Patrick Little, you are a fucking. <clears throat> I, I don't even know words. I don't think there's words in the English dictionary for you. No, he's a special kind of of uh, nudnik, right? For sure. So, Patrick, we uh, we dare you. Actually, to call the pipeline and leave a message. Yes, let's we dare see, let's you. Let's see if you got the balls to do that. Yes, do you? Do you have the balls? Or no, because we don't support you, so you can't talk to us. Right? Uh, is this? Uh, are we done? I think so. I don't know. Uh, you got anything else? Do I have on, anything? on your mind? Anything going no. on? Any? No. MS working okay? MS is fine. Pills are working? Took a oh. medication? Oh, yeah. Took cherry my limeade? Medication, my beautiful cherry limeade, yes. Good to go? Good to go. Ready for the weekend? Yes. Game four tonight? Yes. Taco Bell? Down. Taco Bell's oh, yeah. giving away free tacos I wish I'd have known about that before. No, nope. On the 12th. Oh, on the 12th? Yep. Oh. That's what it was. It wasn't every time somebody wins it, blah, blah, blah. I was going to say, when you one, said that to me last night, was, like 8.30, I'm like... It was like, only one time. What am yep. I going to do? Leave my kids at home? I sent you a late... Oh, yeah. Sleeping in bed while I go get a fucking yeah. free taco? Yeah. <laughs> well, I just left my kids at home for 10 minutes. I just went to Taco Bell, get a free taco, and I come home and my kids are dead. I don't know what happened, I you know? <laughs> I had to go get my free taco. That was free. Right. Taco Bell gave the, you know... Yes. I don't want to miss out on anything. Oh, my God. <laughs> now you just don't have kids anymore. Right. But I got a free taco. Right. <laughs> I'm going to name this taco. you imagine? <laughs> you imagine if I did that? I, oh, my God. And, like, did. somebody found out or something happened. Right. You right. know, like, I don't know. Anything, Vinny could have rolled out of bed. I mean, he's you're not like, a bottom bunk, but still. Right, but you're like, I'm going to name this Taco Vinny. You know? Dude. How pissed off my ex would be. Oh, my God. Mark, you fucking... Yeah, yeah, You yeah. went to Taco Bell to get to the fucking free taco. Because, you know, <laughs> not with kids, but I have a history of doing stupid shit like that. Oh, yeah. No, like, you're like, saying, like, you wouldn't do that, but you have a history of doing stupid shit. Right. For instance, <clears throat> a long time ago, long before the kids, I think this is even before we were married. Uh, yes, it was, actually. Uh, she was home for some reason. I went out drinking. We, it was only at the bar down the road from our house, literally, like, six blocks down the road. I was drunk, drove home, wintertime, pulled into the driveway, and I'm like, ah. Oh, I want a coffee, but I don't want to make any coffee at home. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I got back in the car, backed up, drove down to the gas station, which was, again, down the road, right around the corner from the bar. So, again, six blocks more down the road. Okay. Went to the gas station, got a cup of coffee. Okay. As I'm driving back home, I'm going, the fucking car ain't moving. I got this pedal to the floor. And I'm going, why the fuck is it? Is it in park? Engines, no, because I already pulled out. I'm going down the road, and I'm going trying to go a little faster because the car's barely moving. Yeah. And it's not moving anywhere. Oh, boy. What the fuck is going on? I finally, like, roll into the driveway. I'm like, something's wrong. The next day, say, oh, something's wrong with the car, blah, blah. We go to back it out. There's all this red liquid. Apparently, I pulled out one of the, either the transmission <laughs> wire <laughs> Or something, and it leaked out, and I drove down to the oh gas station God. and came back, and yeah, I, I get caught hell for it. Help that, because it ended up being almost like six hundred dollars to get the transmission replaced. Oh my so I was like, hope you enjoyed that six hundred dollar cup of coffee. That's fucking. And I was like, wow. Well, I was drunk. I don't remember. 
I was drunk. I <laughs> what, what did you do? Open up the open up the hood? No, no, and underneath. Start pulling shit underneath. Oh, it I oh. must because it was wintertime, so it must have caught like a rock or an ice oh, or something, and it, it pulled the layer out from underneath. And I didn't see it when I pulled out. I just went because I wanted to get a cup. I didn't feel like making coffee. You so. wanted a six hundred dollar <laughs> cup of coffee. You wanted a Robin Leach approved cup of coffee. So yeah, it would have been you know that would have probably been thrown up in my face, and it happened ten years before we had the kids. Oh yeah, but yeah, no, I'm not going to fucking Taco Bell for a free taco. My no, kids I'm like, sleeping. yeah, just leave the kids. <laughs> just leave. Yeah, you know, you could tell them. Or I I'm, could be that dick parent wakes their kids up. We're going to Taco Bell. <laughs> We're going to Taco and Bell. you're not getting and, shit. Yeah, you're not getting nothing. <laughs> but I can't leave the house without you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Either that or I go out there and I'm that guy in line beeping and shit. Come on, I left my kids at home for this. <laughs> then you pull up and the, you find out it's not even that for that day. Right. Then I get home, kids are gone, somebody broke in, stole them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or CPS was there waiting for me. Yeah. Uh, CPS sir. is like, um, I don't know if that's such a good idea, sir. <laughs> was that taco that important? You're like, yeah, it was delicious. I'm like, it wasn't even the right day. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even get nothing. I went for nothing. Uh, it wasn't even the right. It was wrong. It was wrong. So I got a ton pack anyways. Well, where is it? I ate it on the way home. And then you have, like, one left, and you're like, crunch. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, my God. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, fucking, uh... That'll do it for today. This fucking guy, though. Oh, my God. Yeah. Patrick Little. I think we just brought it up because of how stupid he is, but I don't think anybody's ever going to hear his name on a national level or... Well, he, if they gonna, do, they're going to call him the the He Man Jew hater. He's going to get laughed right out of any election. Any he ain't going to see a ballot anywhere. Right. What's that? The volume there? Yes. Ah. Yes. So, well, that'll do it for today. That, that's why we just wanted to come on and talk about how fucking ridiculous this fucking thing is. Right. So, yeah. But stay tuned. We got some coming up. Some Mandela stuff because we're not over that no. phenomenon no. or those stupid people yet. No, no, definitely far not. beyond done with that. And I'll tell you what, I'm pooped. That was a show. <laughs> Are you got a poop or that what you're? No, I said I'm pooped. Oh, you're pooped. I am pooped. So give us a call on the pipeline. Let us know your thoughts on whatever. 315-293-2999 and as always check us out on the web www.bmtalk02.com and if you're watching this on YouTube subscribe, share, comment, like all that other good shit yes and we will see you for episode 29 yes soon I'm Bob I'm Mark and this is BM Talk